Well, it finally happened. My pool pump died. So this was installed March of 2021-ish, and my pool pump gave up the ghost about a week ago. Today's February 3rd of 2024. So 21, 22, 23, yeah, about two years, 10 months. So what happened, I'm pretty sure, is the bearing that's closest to the actual pump impeller froze up. So I got a couple clips I'll show you with the noise it was making and things like that. So let's get to it. So I guess the front bearing is the one that failed. This back one feels fine. Since the pump's dead, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and I'm gonna try to uh, disconnect the wiring from the inverter. Well, hopefully it can leave the inverter. I ordered another pump, different brand, but they look very similar. So I'm gonna get those both out on a table, look at the wiring, and hopefully I can just do a simple pump swap three wires and then uh, we'll be back in action so we'll see what happens well I got a problem I gotta plug up this uh it's draining my pool I'll be back. Now that I got the pump uh, disconnected, I just gotta disconnect the, uh, the actual lines. Go into the inverter. There we go. So, the new and the old inverters actually not much to them my goal is just to leave this old one here disconnect the three wires and they have the same numbers on the wires so i'm hoping everything matches up we'll see and i'll just uh, wire the new pump to the old box to everything else and see if it works
All right, I got the old one out. I got the new one sitting here. It's the old one I bought, what, two years, 11 months ago, off of Amazon for like $529, I can't remember. Came with the inverter, some wires, and I had to do everything else. And then this one here I got off eBay, Vivor brand. Um, cost me $310 plus tax. The reason why I got this one is because it literally looks almost identical to the old one, except for uh, this is orange and it's about an inch longer. But that way the mounting holes line up and I should be able just to plug and play. The only thing I gotta worry about, luckily they're both brushless DC motors. They're both three wires. Uh, let's see, the blue wire is a V, this blue wire is a V, so that's a win. This black wire is a U, that one's a W, so that could go either way. And then the brown is the opposite with a W and a U. So I got a 50-50 chance on wiring it up to the old inverter. I'm not using their inverter. I'm gonna try it with the old one so I don't have to rewire it. And all I have to do is make a, three connections and go. And I'll relabel the new ones. So in the future, when I buy I'm gonna so I'm gonna buy another one of these uh, as my spare backup. So when this one actually dies, hopefully in more than two years, 11 months, I'll be able to just swap one in, connect three wires just like I'm doing. Take me an hour and then uh, hopefully be able to rebuild this one. I'm gonna take my old one, disassemble it, find the bad bearing in here, hopefully find a replacement, because I'm hoping it's not too hard to find. And then more than likely it's gonna be the same bearing as this one, so if I get like a five pack or 10 pack of bearings, I'll just be able to rebuild and recycle my old pumps until um, like the impeller goes bad or I, you know, pieces start breaking and they're just no good anymore. But also reading in the instructions, you actually aren't supposed to leave this new one out in the rain. Um, so I'm gonna have to do some kind of cover for it. I kind of have a little solar panel already over it, but it says I'm not supposed to do that in the instructions. But you know, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I don't care. All right, I'm gonna slap a new one in. All right, so I got it wired up loosely. I actually connected um, the wires not by color, but by uh, letter. So U to U, W to W, V to V. Regardless, uh, they're different color wires. I figure a schematic from China is gonna be the same as a schematic from China, so they should all be able to wire everything the same, regardless of the color. So I did that, hooked it all back up, plumbing up. It's got water in it, so I'm not running it dry. Tighten that down a little bit. And I'm gonna go turn on the solar and we will um, see what happens. So much quieter. And this is on a uh, Partly cloudy day too, so it's not even going to run at full power. But it's pumping water. See? You can't pour water on it. You can't, like, put icicles on it. And um, you're supposed to throw an umbrella at it to protect it from the rain. All right, so ultimately, it's a pile of junk. So I Googled the numbers. I can't find anything for this knockoff China pump. So I'm gonna say it's actually gonna be cheaper just to buy a whole new unit. Also, me not being that smart, the, uh, the impeller actually just spins off of it. So after you take the screw out, that keeps it from spinning. And this one is a lefty tighty righty loosey so that's backwards but then this is right tight lefty loosey so they kind of counterdict each other that way it won't come off good to know i could have just spun this thing off instead of breaking it and then i would only had a bearing problem to deal with not a whole i can't find parts for anything so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this off look at the bearing do a little research but at this point i'm just gonna save the pump housing and this being a different size than the Vivor one, I don't know. 
I'm probably just, I'll throw it on the shelf somewhere, just wait. I'm gonna buy another Vivar one for another 310 bucks, throw it on the shelf. So when that one dies, I'm gonna swap it out an hour, be done and move on with life. And hopefully I won't have to do that more than a few times before I sell this place and then it's someone else's problem. Well, as you just saw, this, you can hear how horrible it is. So that bearing was bad, the seal failed, you can see all this rust, it is it's pretty much junk. But, I had a thought, so now that this may be non-repairable, because I can't get the impeller, because I jacked it up, and um, so like, how am I going to save money? So I'm going to buy another one of these Vivor kits, but with my old kit, came with I got an inverter so i'm gonna list the inverter back on ebay it's a 48 volt inverter for maybe someone who blew up their inverter i don't know but if i order a whole nother kit i'm gonna have another another spare so i don't need that it also came with uh the pv cables with mc4 connectors those are always worth money on ebay there's more money other thought is the housing i was gonna keep it but if i get a whole nother replacement i really don't need this but someone might need the lid or the spinny piece. They lost, they broke, the dog ate it, car ran it over. Or the connectors, maybe they they cracked one, they stripped them out, and they just need this whole housing to mount onto theirs. So there's money there I could stick on eBay. And you might be able to get, you know, 50, 100 bucks, 150 bucks back. Well, that'll just offset the cost of your replacement or your future replacement. So instead of costing you 320, 40 bucks, it only might cost you 160, 70 bucks. And that pays for itself within a couple months instead of like four months. So my replacement here is going to cost me three and a half months to replace it by not paying p and &E. So about May 15th, um, my pool will be free again for the remainder of the year and hopefully the next two years going on forward after that. So appreciate you watching. Um, it The pool pump did not last as long as I thought it was going to last. The prices did come down, so that's nice. And it was a fairly plug and play situation actually, after all which I'm glad for. Literally, I could have had that done in 30 minutes if I just focused, if I wasn't trying to make a video on it and document it. But it actually works pretty good. So um, here's to uh, hopefully three more years of fun. Later.